Of course, the Tears of the Kingdom news isn't going to stop just because I wanted to take the rest of my Friday off. So we've got a few pieces of news to bring to you guys. All of this is official stuff, sort of. One of it's a bit of a leak. We'll warn you guys uh, in case you don't want to see that part of the video. But before we get there, I want to remind you we're giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED edition. We're also giving away a pin from PAX East. And yes, a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom as well. To enter, just head down to the big comment or the description. Now, let's get into these stories. We're going to have timestamps down below. Mostly to make sure that you can skip our second story, which does include a leak. So our first story here deals with brand new footage for Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, Nintendo's at it again, giving us a few seconds of new footage. And we get two brand new shots we haven't seen before, even from the play demo. All right, so the first one shows Link running up on a camp of bokoblins on top of a stone talus. You don't really get to see much else besides Hyrule Castle looming in the background. And that's really neat, but the second shot here is what everyone is really focusing on, and that is that, well, Link is sheathing the Master Sword. Now, the thing is, he doesn't have the Master Sword pulled out far enough to tell if it is a damaged version of the sword or not, or if it's the full Master Sword. We also don't know if this is later in the game. We don't know if it's the beginning of the game. We don't know if it's a memory of a prior time before the game with the Master Sword, because obviously Link had the Master Sword in those years uh, before the game you know, began wherever it begins. So the bottom line is we don't really know what any of this means, but it does look really, really damn cool and I think is worth paying attention to. Now, this next one this is potential spoilers here, so I don't want you guys to look if you don't want to, but, but we do have the back of the box art of the collector's edition. It leaked on 4chan. First, let's just look at that image and talk about it, and then we'll talk about the overall implications that we even have this image. So here it is, and as you can see, it is art that we have seen before from Nintendo, just fully expanded out. You basically see Ganondorf with using a one of those tears that we've probably seen. Maybe it's the one he even has on his head. Uh, and then you just kind of see him sending a bunch of malice at either Zelda or that new chick. We're not sure which one it is. Although with the long ears, it might be that new girl we've seen. Of course, we still don't know who that new girl is. The point is we see that this is a mural depicting something that Ganondorf has likely done in the past, I would assume. I don't think it's depicting present events. So that's really, really cool. Now we have to talk about, though, the larger implications because clearly when you see the back of the art, it means that the collector's edition has arrived at some retail outlets. And that's 100% correct. It absolutely has. Now, this image leaked through 4chan. The person isn't claiming they have the game, but this is definitely a retail image. Now, what I want to point out, though, is the game hasn't leaked. It's not online. There's not anyone running around streaming it and playing it or any of that crazy stuff. But what this does tell us is that the base physical copies of the game are likely arriving early next week at retail. So when that happens, you can expect something from the game to leak about mid to late next week. And you know what? I'll keep you guys informed up to the minute that it happens, the moment the game leaks. We'll get a video out to warn you guys if you want to go on a blacklisting spree. Also, it is just a big story in general when it does leak. As I noted, whenever Tears of the Kingdom does leak, we're not going to be covering leaks, which would include this, this little image thing I showed you guys. We wouldn't be covering this if the game had already leaked, but it hasn't yet. So here you go. Now, there is one more thing that we do need to talk about, and this one's really, really cool. And no, guys, this isn't a leak or anything crazy. It's just a really neat thing that Nintendo is doing down in Brazil with Tears of the Kingdom. So they got some images here, and they're doing a promotion with giveaways and all the stuff, like all the way to May 12th. Uh, the Paulista Sao Paulo, Brazil, at least that's what I'm being told over here, on the Tears of the Kingdom. Right? You can see here we got a giant... Uh, you know, Ganondorf uh, thing along with Link and the Master Sword and the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom logo. I am curious to, to know if, like, this is the scale of Ganondorf compared to Link because Ganondorf looks like five times the size of Link, which might actually be the case. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're obviously potentially 
is a size comparison of Lincoln Gannon there. Uh, but there's more in this advertisement. Uh, first off, you know, here's some postcards and stuff they're handing out. Uh, looks pretty neat. Nothing spectacular there. It's just a bunch of older Zelda games. Uh, then they have a poster uh, that they're handing out as well. So that's really cool. So I look, I think that this is just a really neat event that Nintendo is doing. And yeah, I, I think it's absolutely incredible. Now, there's a few other things we could go into. Uh, we technically have an image of the front of the collector's edition as well, although we already know what the front looks like. So I don't really feel like I need to show that image. I Guys, this game is two weeks away. We're two weeks away from Tears of the Kingdom. I am beyond ecstatic. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm not even sure how to express myself. Like, I, I thought maybe because of all the videos I've been making that my hype levels were maybe coming down a little bit. Maybe I was finally crashing back down to earth only, you know, to get excited again once the game is in my hands. But then I picked up those Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLEDs today that I did, you put in a video earlier, one that we're giving away. And the moment I saw the box with Tears of the Kingdom on it, the hairs on my arms stood up. So if you think I'm not hyped for Tears of the Kingdom, you don't know me very well. Just seeing a box of a Switch that doesn't even have the game included has the hairs on my arm standing up. Now, I've obviously calmed down from that now that I have it in my possession, although I'm still really baby my, my Tears of the Kingdom OLED. I know eventually I'm going to manhandle that thing like a beast because I'm going to use it to play games, but man... I'm so excited to play Tears of the Kingdom on my Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. It's really cool. Also, a fun note about the OLED, and this is just an official thing. We know there's that empty slot in the wheel of the play session that suggests there's a new ability. Well, if you look at the back of the Joy-Con, one of the Joy-Con has a symbol that we haven't seen in the game yet, and the other symbol is one of the abilities. So I'm just throwing out there that we kind of know what symbol is going to be related to whatever that ability is. We just don't know what the symbol means, so it's not much of a spoiler, but it's just something that, hey, if you happen to have a, one of these systems, you can look at it, you can figure it out, out, and it's sort of a neat little, I don't know, something Nintendo basically let us figure out on our own but I still don't know what it means, so it still really doesn't matter that much. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I love every single one of you. We're on this incredible journey together, right on through to 133,000 subscribers. I could see it coming on the horizon because you guys are just incredible. This community, man, you guys are so uplifting. Thank you for making me smile. And we got, you know, more content coming your way over the weekend and next week. And then we got Zelda, baby. So let's do this thing. Catch you guys in the next video.